Hey guys, and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos uh, Top Apps. And this one I'm actually going to do too. Uh, they're very small programs, but they are very, very useful and very handy when you have a network and such. Uh, or at least one of them is. The first one I'm going to give uh, a little bit intro to is the Giver application. You can definitely find this in the Ubuntu Software Center. Just look up Giver. What this application does is very simple. Uh, you have someone on your network anyone in your network using the same giver application and you will see the list down here right now I'm, on, I'm the only one uh, but what you can do is basically send files over your internet so you don't have to plug in and out your USB and so on and so forth it's a very simple application but it makes life a lot easier so basically how does it work you click on whoever you wanna uh, give anything to you can give a file or give a folder if you give a file and folder either one just pick which file you would like to give just choose something small give it and then you have a little notification that says whoever user wants to give this file to you which is this size and you can accept it decline it uh, okay and so on it was declined with the okay which I find that kind of humorous but that's how you would actually send files back and forth you can uh, configure a few informations um, you can change, go in preferences, you can change your little icon here from a file on your computer, from a web link, or from the Gravatar avatars. And of course your file location where you store all your files at. I'm going to put it in the download area. But yes, this application is very useful when you have a few users on the computer and, or a network and you just want to share files very quickly without hassles, without USBs and plugging and plugging in. Uh, it's a quick transfer rate, it's over the network so it's not that slow and that's basically all it does, it's a simple program and it sits up here in your little tray so if you no, don't want to use it just go ahead and right click and do quit. Next application as most of you have already probably used is the Cheese Webcam Booth. It is very fun, I'm gonna make it really small because it lags my video and it's very simple, uh, it's just a little application for videos. You can do regular uh, photos, you can do video, and you can do a multiple snapshot. But as far as functionality, it's very stable. Uh, it has a few effects here. As you can see, we have no effect. We have mauve, 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 whatever you call that. We have blank, which is uh, basically black and white. A lot of saturation. You can do the Hulk. You can do a vertical, horizontal flip. A bit of a weird trippy little thing here, a bit of a dizzy vertigo, edge, dice which kind of mishmashes your view, and a warp. And it's so far it's very well. It's I believe it's based off of Photo Booth from um, the Macs, the Macintosh computers. It isn't as powerful as the Photo Booth, but this is yet. Uh, there's plenty of room for improvement and they are definitely improving it. This improves very often as far as functionality, support for cameras, and of course uh, functions and effects. That's basically it. There's not much else to say. Uh, this also can be downloaded through your Ubuntu Software Center. And that's it for this application as well. One last application I would like to go ahead and show you, as most of you have already known this, is the Skype. Uh, Skype is a very great program. By far the only version, the only uh, messenger on Ubuntu or any Linux that actually has full functionality which includes desktop viewing, uh, image sending, file sending, video camming, audio talking, all of that stuff is supported out of the box and ready for you to work. Uh, a lot of applications lately like AIM doesn't have a Linux version, Yahoo or MSN don't have Linux version so we have to work with the uh, empathy which is right here, the Empathy IM client, but Empathy hasn't really much any support for any of those. Uh, it basically does the chat and maybe some file transfer. Pigeon actually had more file transfer support. I don't know why they switched to Empathy. But I do like the integration of Empathy. And it's a very fast little program. But as far as Skype, you can do your typical stuff, uh, webcamming, you can change your status like usual, recent chats, and so on. Uh, we you also have conference calls and everything basically works everything that would be working in Windows works perfectly in Ubuntu and that's it uh, those are the three applications where you would get uh, empathy oh, I'm sorry where you get Skype is actually on the website uh, you just go to skype.com let me go ahead and type it in the URL bar 
skype.com and inside I'll uh, just go to the download link or the download icon link whatever you want to call it and in here just wait a little bit for it to load you'll be presented with two options uh, oh seems like it's a little laggy at the moment it's loading loading okay go to the download uh, you can go ahead and download it from here you can do 64-bit or 32-bit this depends on your processor of course they both work fine uh, most people have a 32-bit but I'm not gonna be saying that that's completely true if you have a 64-bit a 32-bit will be uh, supported and functional with your 64-bit because 64 is backwards compatible but 64-bit uh, will run a lot faster even though it might not be noticeable or not noticeable but for the sake of it I use a 32-bit most of the people that have a laptop that's maybe two one or two years old has have 32 bit the 64 bits have only recently started to be popular now in uh, 2010 and basically if you've had an old computer go ahead and use 32 bit if not you can research the name of your computer online and you can kind of look at the specs and find out what bit your computer is and that's basically it uh, those that's how you download everything that's how it all works there's a few small applications I'd like to review just uh, to keep everyone informed and thank you for watching and I'll make more videos soon